Hello, my name is Mark Pachabowski, and I work with Ascent and ran 3D. And uh, I want to take a moment to demonstrate how we can explode an assembly within the 3D experience using Katia, and how we will be able to place that uh, exploded view onto a drawing. So, currently I have an assembly. You can see it out in front of us. Uh, to be able to explode this, we want to be able to uh, quickly switch it back and forth from an exploded view to a assembled view. And we're going to be able to do this by creating slides. Now, the uh, way we're going to do that is to go to the tree, right click, come down here to insert, and we'll be able to say insert a markup. It allows us to be able to rename this. I'm going to call it product markup uh, bore device and select OK. And it places that in the tree. This will show up as a node. If you open up this assembly later, you'll be able to see it in the tree as well. Now, underneath that um, markup is our slides node and our notes node where we can capture information. Uh, I want this to have one slide where everything's fully assembled and we're looking at it from this position. All of these parts are visible uh, in this specific way. So what we'll be able to do is uh, activate that product node. Actually, you don't have to activate it. You can just leave it the way it is. It doesn't have to double click, sorry. Uh, but we will go up here to the uh, compass and we're going to switch to the design review app. I have it in my favorites. You can click on search here and type in design review and we'll be able to select on it. It keeps the same assembly open but it allows us to be able to create these slides and notes that uh, the markup allows us to work with. Oh, it does change our action pad or um, um, the action bar down here, uh, and our action pad, but that's something else, uh, allows us to be able to see different icons. Now, I want to capture it the way everything is currently. So all I have to do is come down here to slide, click the little camera icon, slide, and it tells me that slide one has been created, and it places it there. It's like taking a snapshot with the camera. Okay, now, if I want another pictures I can come in here and be able to take it from different locations it captures the location of the camera it captures what parts are visible or which ones are hidden um, it captures their positions as well where they're located in space this is just basically one to be able to set it back to fully assembled so I could come in here and rename this uh, all parts and that one I know is always going to be all the parts being displayed in that default arrangement that I had. Uh, now I'm ready to do my exploded view. Uh, the way we can do this is on the review tab. I'm going to be able to hit the arrow here to see the secondary area. And we have explode as an option. Now you can always manually explode this by dragging the parts off yourself. Uh, I'm going to use this tool. It allows me to choose what is being exploded. That's the entire assembly. So I select at the top of the tree. Um, I can do a fixed product. So what's not going to move, maybe the base here will be stationary. I can choose the 3D explosion where the parts move in three different directions. 2D explosion or based on the constraints. All levels are just the main level of an assembly if you've got multiple levels uh, of a huge assembly you're dealing with. Uh, this one, everything's in the main level, so it doesn't make a difference. But I'll be able to hit, um, choose that assembly again. Looks like it got dropped. And I'll hit apply. And all the parts separate. I can use this, or hit OK here. And I use a slider to be able to reassemble them or drag them back away from one another. I'm just trying to show the parts and how they align with one another. Hit OK. Now, I have this exploded positioning. Again, I could use my compass if I really wanted to change something. I can, or the robot here, and be able to drag it to a different location. Now, if I want to capture that, I may want to be from a specific viewpoint. I can go to the View tab and be able to tell it isometric view. 
which puts it into the standard isometric orientation that uh, Katia has. Once it's in the position that I want, we'll go back to the Review tab and be able to select Slide. That takes another snapshot of it from this specific vantage point. Now, if I want to switch between the two, I can double click on all parts and it shows all the parts move back to, or together. If I go to slide one, it shows me them exploded. So I'm going to right click and go to properties and call this exploded. Now, with those two customizations, we're going to create a drawing that shows it in the exploded state. I'm going to double click on all parts just to reassemble it so I can save this and that's the way I want it to look like when I'm saved. But if I go to, and I'll even save it here, but if I want to build a drawing, I'll hit the plus symbol here and say new drawing. Uh, drawing for bore device. Um, I'm going to be able to come in here and say I want to generate a front view. If I go back to my uh, model, my assembly, if I just select on a surface as the front view, then it's going to come in as the current display has generated that view. So however that model looks on the other window, that's how it's going to look when it comes in here. I want to see it exploded. So I'm going to click on front view again, go back to the drawing, I'm going to click on the exploded slide first, and then I have to tell it from which position is it going to come in uh, in my drawing. So I'm going to click on that same flat surface I did a moment ago. So even though the actual display in the 3D experience, in Katia, um, has it fully assembled, because I pre-selected that slide, it automatically comes in exploded, and all I have to do is tell it from which vantage point it's coming in. Um, in Katia V5, this is called Scenes. So if you were used to using Scenes, it's the same general idea. Okay, now it doesn't have to be just a front view. I could come in here and say Isometric View, toggle back over to my assembly, click on Exploded. Now, the way it comes in is based on the orientation I'm looking at on the screen. So if I have it in some weird position and I click on it, doesn't matter where you click actually, if you click on anywhere on that model, it comes in from that vantage point, but exploded. If you want it to be a nice clean orientation, you want to click on isometric, go back to the um, model, click on exploded, and then I may come in here and say isometric first, then click on it, and it comes in from that default vantage point. So, the the camera angle of each one of these views is dependent on how it looks when you select on it. However, when you create these slides, we, uh, when you double click on them, the camera changes based on where it was at when you first created the slide itself. Okay, remember, these are all placed within the product markup um, node in the tree. I hope you find this helpful.